Welcome to the French Dream Man channel. I'm your host, Robert Sherwood, and we're going to take you along on an install of our duplex outdoor sump pump system. We have two one-third horsepower pumps in a chambered system. This was the first patent that French Drain Man was awarded. We have a family of patents for outdoor sump systems. This happens to be one of my favorites. We were working in Lapeer, Michigan. There was a house on a river. When this river swells up, the water would backfeed into a walkout basement. I'm going to show you guys what we did. I'm going to show you what we do in cases like this to keep the water out. We're going to get you on the ground. You're going to see that we were working in an area where we were really, as you can see, just basically working on top of one another. Anytime you're under a deck like this and you have posts, you know, really that aren't spaced far apart, they're pretty close together, you're going to end up in a situation like this. No big deal. No matter what the circumstances are, we're going to find a way to get our systems in. So the water keeps backfeeding off the river when the river swells up and it fills the basement with water. We're going to dig out a big sump pit. It's going to be a vault. It's going to hold all the water. We're going to have to retain this. We're going to have to start retaining it right from the bottom of the sump pit. We're going to bring in some really big boulders and you're going to see us set them. We also were repurposing some broke concrete that the homeowner had. So we mixed that in with our really big, dense, heavy boulders and uh, made a really nice uh, retainment. I didn't want these deck posts to shift. That would have been, you know, the absolute worst. I don't want the homeowner calling me saying, hey, my deck is leaning or, you know, <laughs> something's out of whack. I know better, you know, once we work under this deck, anything that happens to this deck for the next 20 years is going to be blamed on us. So the last thing I want to do is have a situation where, where the posts are anchored and concrete. I want to make sure that those footings are secure. So there's the big boulders that we brought in. Some really nice sized boulders. You can see how equipment heavy we are for a job like this. I just wanted to show everybody. Look, people always say, how much does it cost for something like this? Well, if you DIY it, you're saving quite a bit because we show up with, you know, five trucks, five trailers. All right, so Francisco's setting up this duplex system. He's taking two of our bad seed sump pump systems. These are full frame, 24 inch, two of them, the one third horsepower bad seed and he's making a duplex. We take the exact same thing that we build and ship all over the United States, and here he's just basically reconfiguring it on site because we added 10 feet of chamber along with a heater. Because we're in the north, we have to heat our units. So we have a thermostat-controlled heater. Beautiful job that guys are doing. Such a nice job. Make sure your sump pit is, the bottom's got to be level. So we have the laser level, and the guys just repeatedly keep grabbing the pole, checking it, and looking for the tone. Now they're going to take the filter fabric, and we're just going to put that filter fabric across the entire bottom of the stack. The homeowner can put decorative stone on it later. This is just going to help keep all this soil retained. We're going to bring those boulders in and you're going to see how much work this actually is. These guys really, really work hard. These guys work Moving 800 pound boulders underneath a deck where you can't twist and turn the ditch witch. You can only drive it straight in and straight out. That's it. So here's some of the hardest working men in the country right here. And they're moving 800 pound boulders. We're trying to retain all this earth. We can't have this settle. We can't have this move. This deck will shift. This deck will be a disaster. It's like a puzzle. 
every piece is methodically placed. The guys pick each boulder one by one as they bring them in. And they need certain heights. And then they go ahead with some broken concrete that we're repurposing that was here already. And we're locking that in place. We'll take the big boulders and then we'll take some of that broken concrete and shove it in areas to where it just literally prevents it from moving. Keeping it pinned up against the earth. We need to hold back all this soil. Under rainy conditions, when this soil is loaded and you have hydrostatic pressures, we need these giant 800-pound boulders to keep everything in place. I can't wait for you guys to see the finished product. That's how beautiful this turned out. I mean, it's just artwork. When you have a group of men that have been working together and they've been doing this type of work, working with natural stone, no strangers to it, they know just how to piece this stuff together. They'll go ahead and they'll take a sledgehammer and knock any points that are sticking up off, take our you know mason saw, make some cuts if they have to. But when you get it all detailed in, it truly is a one-of-a-kind, beautiful you know, piece of art. So the guys are trying to retain all this dirt so that we don't end up with a mudslide during the rainy season. We just dug out a big giant hole, and that's exactly what would have happened if we didn't bring in all these boulders to retain all that earth, all that soil. Now you guys are in for a surprise because you're going to see us do something that I've never shown before in any videos. So we're going to put another chamber next to this duplex system. We're going to be able to have so much on site storage if there's a power outage and these pumps can't run and there's a big rain event i want this to fill up and collect as much water as possible before it ends up finding its way into this basement i just want to add layers and layers and layers of armor against any storm power outages are so common during hard rain events anything that brings in you know strong winds and and heavy rain you end up usually with a lot of power outages across areas. You have to make sure you build your system for on-site storage. I had a client this past week. We had a storm come through, and a generator that was serviced and running two weeks ago did not run during a power outage. And five sump pumps that needed power could not run. And there was, you know, obviously water in the basement in this case. So... You can see the guys are putting the inch and a half round rock over top of these two massive chambers. Now, these chambers got a lot of holes drilled in them. I didn't bore you guys with that. I tried to boil this down to a video that you guys could, you know, make it from start to finish. But we drilled a bunch of holes in those chambers so that the water can just fill into those chambers. It just passes through all those holes. And then when the pumps turn on, there's going to be a lot of water. And you're going to get your money's worth out of each and every cycle. There's only so many cycles in a sump pump's life. The manufacturer, they basically put them through torture tests. And they cycle them and cycle them until failure. And they actually publicize how many cycles, how many life cycles that sump pump averages. All right, so let me talk you through the complete project. We just got done grading it. We took all that dirt, all 15 yards of that dirt that we dug out, and we built a protective berm. You can see the guys put straw and grass seed down there. I'll get another look at that for you soon, but check this out. We got our duplex system and also the heater. So that is a duplex system for the north. Look how beautiful this came out. It came out really nice. Really happy with the guys. So you can see that berm that we built. We repurposed the 15 yards of dirt that we dug out from underneath the deck and we're going to keep out this river when we have flood events and that river swells up it no longer can back up into this walkout basement we got this nice soft berm easy to walk over this beautiful cobblestone walk into the the basement i think the guys did a fantastic job i mean it's just like i said artwork it's a one of a kind Perfect demonstration on how to use a chambered sump pump system to increase your on-site storage and maximize the life cycles in your sump pump.